Aaron, what is our hmm. fourth main topic today? Benson writes in and says, hey, John and crew. So this DC and Patty Jenkins thing just keeps getting more and more interesting. First, they said they canceled Wonder Woman 3. Then they said Patty Jenkins actually walked away from it when they wanted her to change some things. Now, Jenkins is saying that she never walked away from it and that it was out of her control. But she's also saying Rogue Squadron is still in development and the plan is to still do it. What do you make of all this? Thanks. Thank you, Benson. And this whole thing is a mess. And this, like, this is what happens when we, as a fan community, get a little bit of information, right? And, and by the way, I do not blame us collectively as a fan community, because when we are only given a little bit of information, we are going to speculate about information. We're going to draw some temporary conclusions based on what little information we get, but a little bit of information can be a real dangerous thing. Yeah. So of course the big piece of news that came out at first was that Wonder Woman three is done. And it does look like that is the, that's the one thing that's a state constant, but then it became about why is it done? Because then a follow-up report came out that said, Patty Jenkins decided to walk away. Like much like uh, Edgar Wright did from Ant-Man when the studio said, and we want you to make some significant changes. Edgar Wright said, no, that's the Ant-Man movie I wanted to make. And if I can't make that movie, then maybe you should get somebody else to make it. It's all good. And then you walked away. And the new report said that Patty Jenkins was the same thing. It's like, ah, this is the Wonder Woman I want to make. And if I can't make that Wonder Woman, maybe you should get somebody else and walked away. But now Patty Jenkins is saying, no, I didn't walk away. I, I, I didn't balk at notes and walked away or anything like that. Now, this comes to us from the folks at Deadline. And actually, they're just quoting what she said in her own post here. Now, I'm going to jump around a little bit and and try to get to where, you know, the heart of what she's saying. But Jenkins, actually, she go back to one of the earlier things. This filmmaker states that she didn't walk away from another Wonder Woman sequel, but studio sources had previously told Deadline that she had. Jenkins continued, when they there started being backlash about Wonder Woman 3 not happening, the attractive clickbait false story that it was me that killed it or walked away started to spread. This simply is not true. I never walked away. I was open to considering anything asked of me. It was my understanding there was nothing I could do to move anything forward at this time. DC is obviously bur uh, buried in changes that they have to make. So I understand these decisions are difficult right now. So basically, she says, nope, that was not me. And there was nothing I could do to keep Wonder Woman 3 going. The decision was made by the studio, Wonder Woman 3 is no go. Which just basically takes us back to the beginning. Like the first report that just said, DC, Warner Brothers killed Wonder Woman 3. So the second story that came out about her walking away is that it's nuts. And she goes on to talk about her love for Wonder Woman and, and all that kind of stuff. And then a lot of things. Now, one of the more interesting things as well in this story is her relationship to Rogue Squadron. Because of course, at that big Disney Investors Days call, that was two and a half, getting close to three years ago now, they made the big announcement, Rogue Squadron. They had, you know, Patty Jenkins there on an airfield. She puts, she talks about how her father was a fighter pilot. She puts on the helmet and then the camera pans as she's walking towards a life-size X-wing fighter sitting there on the runway. I mean, it was one of the best announcement videos you could ever make for a thing. And then months passed and months passed and months passed and nothing, nothing, nothing. And then they pulled it off the release schedule. We heard there were delays, there were whatever. Then they pulled it off the release schedule. And the assumption had been once they pulled it off the release schedule was that, well, it looks like Rogue Squadron's done. And even I, I said for a long time, I don't think it's done. I don't think it's done. But then just recently on the show, I go, you know what? Maybe it is pretty done. I, I Now I think it's done. Well, Patty Jenkins is coming out now saying she cleared that up because in the same statement, she said, look, we were developing Rogue Squadron, but it became apparent that the timing wasn't going to line up with Wonder Woman 3, she said. And I really wanted to get Wonder Woman 3 done. So Lucasfilm told her, no problem. Will you come back to this when you're done Wonder Woman 3? So they wanted to keep her and she said, yes. And she clarified that to this day, they are still developing Rogue Squadron. Now she said, Patty Jenkins made it very clear. Like, I don't know for sure that the movie's going to happen because you have to finish development first. And then that's when it receives the green light or not, much like what just happened with God of War. 
So he goes, I can't say for certain that the movie's going to happen. We got to finish development. But according to her, Lucasfilm, her, they are still working on Rogue Squadron. And they're still trying to get that put together. And I still hope that movie happens because I got real excited for that announcement. So this week, James Gunn, Peter Safran will meet with David Zaslav. They will lay out their plan, their strategy. Then hopefully we're going to start to get some more clear information here. But according to Patty Jenkins, the original report that Wonder Woman 3 was just axed, that appears to be true. Does not appear to be true that Patty Jenkins walked. And it looks like Rogue Squadron could still possibly happen. We want to take a second to thank the sponsor of this video, HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. It is the most festive time of the year and HelloFresh is here to help make the most of every moment. From holiday hosting to dinners during busy weeknights, you can count on HelloFresh to deliver fresh ingredients and seasonal recipes. Because tis the season for saving money wherever we can. HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery store shopping and 25% less expensive than takeout. You can use those savings for holiday gifts or treat yourself. Guys, you know, I've told you before that with Anne and I both being working professionals, finding time to prepare dinner together can be a chore, but HelloFresh has made it easy and fun for us to make our own meals. And most importantly to me, they're delicious. You will actually enjoy making dinner. So right now, go to HelloFresh.com slash Campia18 and use the code Campia18 for 18 free meals plus free shipping. Once again, go to HelloFresh.com slash Campia18 and use the code Campia18 for 18 free meals plus free shipping. Rob, there's a lot of stuff to sift through here, but what out of all this, you probably saw her full tweet that she put out. I did. What out of it stood out to you the most? I don't know why she was even responding publicly to this. Because, you know, first of all, studios want to control their narratives. Mm. And and no matter what, she's talking about both Disney and Warner Brothers, this project and that project, and I might be doing this and I might be doing that. It's really not her place to say because she's an employee. It's not like if she's if she was like Steven Spielberg talking about these kinds of things, I'd say, okay, you know, you've been, you're Steven Spielberg, but you're a, you're a hired gun. You know, you're working for these people. And I understand social media gives you the illusion that maybe it's a good idea to weigh into these things. But these are decisions that are undecided. And by saying this, unless, of course, the studio let her, but I doubt they did, what you're doing is you're speaking for the studio. And I would never, look, anybody in Hollywood knows you should never do that. You should never get out in just because social media and the fans are, this is my problem with the entire fan community. At the end of the day, you have to think about your employers. It'd be like if I went out and started talking about our business relationship, you and I, about how we're going to move forward. I'd never do that. I'd never go out and talk about that. And, and she's talking about her business relationships with multiple studios. When I read this thing, I was like, what does it matter? The rest of the world's perception of all this does not matter. And what you've now done is you've now said, Disney still has Rogue Squadron on the on the books i didn't walk away from wonder woman you're you're speaking for a bunch of other people now even though they didn't she didn't say specifically she was making statements that disney and warner brothers are like we'd really you rather not talk like this but is isn't there <laughs> isn't there something to be said about this so like i i get with the rogue squadron thing maybe you don't talk about rogue squadron because who cares but if a story let, let's say when uh, like when you had covid and, and you were out for a week Let's say a story started going around that, oh, uh, John and the crew caught Rob naked sink showering in the, in the studio every day, and they told him many times to stop, and they sent him home because he just refused to stop being naked in the office. Isn't at that point, since they're talking about you and the decisions mm -hmm. you made, isn't there some room for you to get on social media and say, hey, look, look, look just be clear. I was not getting naked in the office and sink showering in the office. Like, isn't there a place for her to well, say that? Well, I think that, that that this this if it was just about me and my conduct, I would say it's my place. But if, if, but, if you're Kathy Ken Kathy Kennedy, if you're um, uh, uh, Patty, Patty Jenkins. Jenkins, and somebody starts spreading a report that you walked away from a project, and you're like. I did not walk away from a project. I'm not speaking for somebody else. I'm speaking for me. Mm -hmm. I did not walk away from a project. It doesn't, 
Isn't there something to be said for that, do you think? No, I think she should have gone to Warner Brothers and said, can we issue a joint statement and have the statement mm. come from the studio? Mm. I mean, I honestly think that because what she's done is it looks, and then of course, James Gunn responded to her on Twitter and said, our relationship and our- uh, Yeah, he specifically now, said, James Gunn replied to her and says, my, all my interactions with you have been professional and pleasant. All I can yeah. tell you is that the the, the, the studio- the publicity department, the people, the higher up, the head of production, uh, the head of publicity at Warner Brothers, this is a nightmare. This is this is the studio not controlling their own narrative. People, there there are market forces that come into play here. This you've got investors who are gonna be like, so what is going on with Wonder Woman? You know, and and it forces the studio to suddenly be like, look, we're trying to figure this out. We hired these two guys that are gonna lead the DC charge forward let us do this this is a complete distraction for everybody involved she should have just shut her mouth <laughs> and, and, and i would say that for any director who is in a position like this this is not for that okay. person to say let's move on here chris uh you you saw patty's uh comments here what do you think yeah, of i it? think her statement was wildly professional i think it was great i think she did what anyone would do in this situation if people are talking about you and creating a false narrative about what you did you do step in especially when you then only say kind things about the people you worked with and talk about how hey they've got a lot going on they're figuring out all of this i just want to set the record straight about my involvement i was willing to make changes and everything but hey they've got to do what they've got to do i respect that i think that was a really classy move here and i think james gunn following up on this is great Warner Brothers has not been awesome about controlling their own narrative throughout the past year. They have allowed stories to go, fester, snowball, and have not had a voice in these conversations. And the media runs wild with it and does whatever they want with it. Now, if I'm part of that conversation, and I'm, I'm sorry, I am going to make it gendered. If I'm a woman in Hollywood and people oh, are talking about how I'm difficult to work with, mm -hmm. that puts such a tarnish on me in such a very, very harsh light. So I'm gonna step in and I'm gonna say something about it and say, no, that wasn't the case. And I'm hopefully gonna have these guys back me up and say, no, she's a delight and we would love to work with her again. Aaron, you know, <laughs> I I, th I think there are two different things because I, I half agree with you, Rob, half disagree. Because the part I agree with you is she shouldn't have started commenting on Rogue Squadron. Because no. that, that's that had nothing, that was not part of the conversation really. People are talking about the project, not her. But I, I, but I do think when people start saying you made certain choices to say, no, 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 I did not make a certain choice. You're speaking for yourself. Anyway, Aaron, uh, you, you re read, uh, you know, Patty's outline, which part of her, her statement stood out to you? I mean, I agree with Chris completely that she absolutely had the right to speak up and, you know, I also agree with Chris in the fact that it is a gendered thing. I'm sorry. It's the reality. We want to talk about double standards that I get to say somebody's sexy and Rob doesn't. Well, guess what? Because double standards exist. Okay. And the double standard exists that women specifically are considered problematic if they do anything other than going to the studio and being nice and playing well and saying, hey, I know you guys were out there saying that I did something that's considered problematic and could potentially cost me future jobs down the line, but can we come together and make a joint statement? No, WB should have decided what that joint statement was going to be with Patty Jenkins before they threw her under the bus. And well, by the way, we don't know that they're the ones who threw out. That could have just been some random yeah. people making up. Stuff, okay, right right but what i'm saying is patty J if there is a narrative out there that's saying that she's walking away from projects and that is not true she has every right to go and say hey by the way i didn't do that that didn't happen and also to say well maybe she shouldn't have been talking about what's going on with rogue squadron i know exactly why she did that because the only thing that people are going to compare you to moving forward is what you just did. And if the narrative was just that she maybe walked on a project, what do we do? Okay, I've got this project that's coming up. This is still in the books. This is I, That's exactly why she did it. To go, hey, not only did I not walk off of that, I have this other project that I'm still very much invested in doing. So I understand completely why she did it. And I think that it was very professional. And Chris is right. The Warner Brothers has had a, 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 a narrative and a marketing nightmare on their hands well before Patty Jenkins. And she, just like any other director, has absolutely every right to stand up for themselves and use their social media to say, hey, 
That's not true. So please do not buy the bullshit. I'm happy to work. I wanted to make it work. It didn't work for whatever reason. Oh, and by the way, I'm still working because I've got this other project coming up. First of all, let me be clear. This is not about gender. This is about- Maybe not to you, but to, to a lot of people oh, it is. I'm sure it is, but we're speaking specifically about studios and their projects. That's it. I would say the same thing about any director on any project. If you're working for a company that's been paying you millions and millions and millions of dollars, everything you say about that project has a cost associated with it. The project itself- Okay, but Rob, let me challenge you with this. You and I, when, when, when Denis Villeneuve, when Jason Kalar pulled the biggest bullshit move ever and you know backstabbed all of his talent by mm -hmm. dumping all the things, like, and Denis Villeneuve came out and said, I was not informed of this. They did not tell me about this. This was pulled on me. This was a surprise. You and I both said that damn right Denis Villeneuve should come out and, and set the record straight on that. How is that different from Patty okay. Jagan saying, hey, there's lies being spread about me that I walked away from a project. I got to let the world know I didn't. Like, how is that okay, different? Okay, here's the difference. The difference is Warner Brothers as a company said, here's what we are going to do. We are going to start these things day and date. We're going to put them on HBO Max. They didn't tell the people that paid for those movies what they were going to do. Or the those, talent involved. Or the talent involved. This is a, a verifiable business decision that was made that, by the way, flew in the face of contracts. They had to pay off contracts. This is all verifiable paper, these are paper deals. This is not hearsay. This is, and this is a course of action that was verifiable and it happened. So what everybody's talking about here is he said, she said, no one's made any statements. The studio hasn't said anything about this. There's been no official uh, official announcement from Warner Brothers about any of this. No, not, not yet, None. which is why I think it's important that if, a, if you're an individual and a report comes out, for some, by the way, we don't know that it came from Warner Brothers. Like was something suggested it might That's have. That's what I mean. But, this but, is all hearsay. But if somebody is spreading a lie about you, that calls your professionalism and your character into question. Like, oh, because we saw the reports. People are like, oh, she wasn't willing to make some compromises and just walk. If somebody is spreading a lie about you that reflects badly on your professionalism and your conduct, for you to just stand up and say, and I agree with Chris, the way she said it was very diplomatic. The way she said, hey, that had nothing to do with me, but listen, they have got some very difficult choices and decisions they need, need to make moving forward. Got to give them time to make those decisions. I don't know. I think she's got to be able to speak up for herself and say, uh, people are saying I did this and I didn't. But I totally understand your point too, Rob, though, especially the Rogue, Squ Rogue Squadron stuff. Like, I get it. I mean, uh, yes, and I understand your point. Yeah. I mean, look. Does I, anybody I, understand my point, though? No, That's what no, I want to no, know. No, no one. Here's I don't understand my here's point. Like, no, no, We've gone actually eight minutes over time on the show today, so we actually yeah. got to wrap it up here. But guys, question is for you. What do you think about it? By the way, I do encourage you to go and look it up because we just read a couple of the, the, the statements. It's actually quite a long dissertation she put together. I would recommend going and giving it a look. Mm -hmm. See, we are, as we all wait in eager anticipation for what James Gunn and Peter Safran are going to officially announce at some point. What do you think about Patty Jenkins' statement? Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.